Our hymn is number 171. In the Lumen Christi hymn. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting life, O Christ, Redeemer, save us all, and hear your servants when they call. In pity, lest the ancient curse should doom to death the universe. O Lord, you gave in truth and grace to save and heal a ruined race. You came the bridegroom of the bride, as through the world to evening tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine, the spotless victim all divine. At whose I name majestic now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, and things celestial you shall own, and things terrestrial, Lord, alone. O Thou, whose coming is with dread, to judge the living and the dead, preserve us while we dwell below, from every insult of the foe. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, Lord, honor, might, and glory be, from age to age eternally. Amen. He remembers his holy covenant. Alleluia! I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love him. Majestic and glorious his work his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, they are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. 
His praise shall last forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He remembers His holy covenant. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Alleluia! Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will ever waver. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The wicked man sees and is angry, grinds his teeth and fades away. The desire of the wicked leads to doom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. My soul magnifies the Lord. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear Him. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing songs to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favor all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain vastness. Then you hid your face, and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my God, I made appeal. What profit would my death be, my going to the grave? Can thus do you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and girded me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. 
O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. My soul magnifies the Lord, His mercy is from age to age on those who fear Him. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began, to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in From the letter to the Philippians. We eagerly await the coming of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will give a new form to this lowly body of ours and remake it according to the pattern of his glorified body, by his power to subject everything to himself. Angelus Domini, nun sie abit Maria, et congedi in Espiritus Sancto. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, 
for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Angelus Domini, non si habit Maria, et concebit Spiritus Santo. Alleluia. We cry to the Lord who will come to bring us salvation. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, Savior of all, come and swiftly save us. Kyrie eleison. Lord, by your coming into this world, Free us from the sin of the world. You came from the Father. Show us the path that leads to Him. You were conceived by the Holy Spirit. By your word, renew the same Spirit in our hearts. You became incarnate from the Virgin Mary. Free our bodies from corruption. Pray for Father Nathan, for all those who have asked for our prayers, for Donald and for Scott. mindful of all men who from the beginning of time have placed their trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Keep us alert, we pray, O Lord our God, as we await the advent of Christ your Son, so that when he comes and knocks, he may find us watchful in prayer, 
and exalt him in his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Amen. Go with the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of December 3rd. Memorial of St. Francis Xavier, priest of the Society of Jesus. A native of Navarre, Spain, he became one of the first companions of St. Ignatius of Loyola at Paris. Sent to evangelize the Indies, he announced the good news there for ten years and baptized several thousand pagans. He then went to Ceylon and Japan. But in 1552, he died at the moment he was about to enter China. The new apostle to the Gentiles was proclaimed the heavenly patron of Catholic missions. His body rests at Goa in India. At the end of the 6th century before Christ, the prophet Zephaniah, in reaction to an Assyrian occupation which was perverting the kingdom of Judah, he announced the day... <clears throat> of the Lord, a time of universal disaster, which would mark the end of a sinful age and the restoration of the remnant of the people of God. The year of our Lord, 649, St. Birnus, a missionary sent to England by Pope Honorius I. He baptized the King of Wessex, evangelized his Saxon subjects, and created the Episcopal See of Dorchester. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.